off for some local laughs. Uh, Jordan Armstrong is a multi-talented digital journalist for WFAA, but little did we know her talents also include comedy. <laughs> Someone else was trying to save him. It's all right. It wasn't you. You just filmed it the whole time. <laughs> She's a member of the local improv troupe called Midnight Passion, and they're performing at this week's Dallas Comedy Festival, and we welcome Jordan and the rest of the troupe. Thank you all for coming in. Yeah, Big gang guys. of people over here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you're missing somebody, right, Jordan? We're this missing Ray Maddox. He couldn't make it because of work. Um, we love him. Mm -hmm. There he is. <laughs> <a picture> of <laughs> him. Look at that. I love that picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best picture of him ever. <laughs> Even in print, just as funny as ever. Well, tell us a little about the Dallas Comedy Festival. What makes it fun for all of you? Oh, it's a blast. It is five days of comedy. There are acts from the U all over the U.S., Canada. Uh, 200 people wow. submitted their sketch stand-up improv. And uh, we get to perform for the second year in a row. We're really excited. Um, our show is Friday at 7.30. Exciting. And uh, we get to be with the late 90s, who were this amazing Ooh. troupe out of uh, Chicago, which we know Chicago is a big you know, improv city. Oh, for sure. Okay, and how does improv work? I'm sure it takes a lot of practice. I mean, you're just coming up with it at the top of your head, right? Like yeah. I just did right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Go> <laughs> so, I mean, what's it like? How often do you guys practice? I mean, you have to get together, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. We, like every Thursday mm -hmm. we practice. Um, we all, we've all been through the classes at Dallas Comedy House, oh, which cool. there's five levels. So after you graduate, then you can audition oh. to be um, on a troupe or you know form your own troupe, that kind of thing. And uh, so yeah, we we learn the structures and the rules of improv, and then you kind of you know get better at it as you go along. And the I'm more sure. practice you get, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, and what are your favorite topics to kind of go with here as a group when you're performing? Well, that's the thing. There is. Like, you never know what it's going to be. Uh -huh. So you can walk in and we ask for, like, a one-word inspiration to, um, <laughs> like, inspire the show. And it could be something from pineapple to garbage. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and you just got to run with it, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that is so awesome. It takes a lot of skill for that, so I'm sure those classes kind of help, too. Oh, yeah. And a background in theater as well, right, mm -hmm. Jordan? A little bit. High school. High school. <laughs> <laughs> I know. A prominent background in theater, of course. A thespian over here, no less. <laughs> have you guys been together and how did you all come together it's been two years right wow. yeah two years and uh we auditioned every two or three months they have an audition where mm -hmm. they can uh you can just put your best foot forward and hope that you make the team they select you know between five and eight people wow and you, they give you practice times they give you an excellent coach they give you a whole lot of stage time so that's we didn't really know each other before that but I'd say we lucked out for sure. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Okay. Yeah. Is, it, is it stressful? Is it kind of scary? I mean, I mean, you're just having to think of things off the top of your head. Yeah. I mean, do you get enough sleep at night? I know I couldn't really <laughs> do it. Like, I, do that. I do the best I can with traffic in the morning. I know I do that. But, I mean, that's got to be kind of difficult. What tips would you have for somebody maybe in the audience looking to pursue the same thing? Um, definitely. Well, at the last Wednesday of every month, uh, DCH, Dallas Comedy House, and Deep mm -hmm. Alum does a free improv class that you can come oh. check out plug mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but you you really learn these rules it's really it's not about being it's like trying to be funny uh -huh. it's it's more about listening and reacting and and having a scene that's more about a relationship because that's what people relate to mm -hmm. so better improv shows are really these scenes where you know we're having a heart-to-heart -heart, you know that kind of you know the, the life is funny so the natural things about life come out whenever you're having these scenes and, and you told me oh go ahead Lisa I was gonna say if you're thinking about it just do it like yes. don't, don't overthink yeah. it I yeah. didn't I didn't have like a background in theater and I just it's took fun. a chance on it. You, you roll the dice and, yeah. you, and you win. And yeah. you guys definitely are. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Midnight Passion. And you told me that that was a random selection for the name of your group, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was asking you what it meant before. I wasn't sure, but okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. The Dallas Comedy Festival runs tonight through Saturday. Midnight Passion performs Friday night at 730. For ticket and venue information, go to DallasComedyFestival.com. Go out, have some laughs.